Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Andre the Giant to defeat Hulk Hogan. And that is why you probably shouldn't listen to me when I tell you that Molly McCann is going to defeat Deanna Belbita. Again. And since you've got the gun in your hand, I will give you a prediction here at the top. I'll go with her winning by decision. Following the blueprint she laid out in the first fight, which... Considering the fights that have taken place after that fight, I'd say that's still very doable for her. You know, uh, I don't think uh, Deanna Belbita has really patched up her takedown defense so much. I will say this, though. If Molly McCann does take the fight to the ground and find success there and has any moment of domination, of dominance, like she did in round two of her first fight, their first fight, a uh, finish could come pretty easily. So decision is not something I would trust. But it's definitely the pick. And, of course, just uh, not that it's all about records, but Molly's never submitted anybody and Deanna's never been TKO'd. So there's that. But uh, there are a few extra wrinkles to this matchup. It's not all about the first fight. But I will talk about their first fight first and then talk about some other wrinkles to the matchup before wrapping up the fucking video and letting you go to sleep. Or good morning if you're listening to this in the morning. Whatever. Uh, Molly McCann beat Deanna Belbita, in my opinion, 30 to 25. That's with a point deduction in round two. And that was on top of a 10 8 in round two as well. Uh, she got a point deducted, Deanna Belbita, for grabbing the fence in the middle of an arm triangle choke. And then they restarted it, which is fucked up, kind of. If you don't believe me, go ask Randy Couture. But. I still thought Molly was dominant. She stole round one in the end, roughhousing her and getting her down in the final minute. And in round two, she controlled her throughout the whole fight against, you know, had her, had her in the arm triangle early in the round, but then dominated her on the ground. I thought she had a natural 10-8, even without the point deduction. And then in round three, I thought Deanna Belbita was better, but not, uh, not better than Molly McCann. I thought her volume wasn't quite there. Uh, in round three when it could have been, and Molly, uh, I gave her a slight edge there. Molly's the more powerful striker on the feet, and uh, she does have a spinning back elbow in her pocket, which is not nothing. She's gotten her two wins in the UFC, uh, but uh, I do think she starts going for that, could get her in trouble. But she's definitely got power on her side, but Deanna Belbita, if you told me these two girls fought on the feet, two women fought on the feet for 15 minutes, I would say Deanna Belbita wins the fight. Deanna Belbita's got the volume. She's got three inches of height, six inches of reach, and better outside striking, yes, but she also has good blitzes. She charges, and she'll get good moments of offense in any striking battle. Definitely a beast. But I've got Molly following the blueprint she laid out in round one and ripping her to the mat. I think uh, Molly McCann... Has a takedown prowess that is good enough to get Belbita to the ground because Deanna Belbita has awful takedown defense. She's just got weak takedown defense. She's been taken down in pretty much every fight since. Uh, Hannah Goldie, Maria Oliveira, uh, Gloria DePaulo, DePaula, and uh, Luana Jojua, actually. Uh, she got Luana down and uh, Luana armbarred her in round one which that's another little wrinkle to this fight. Molly McCann's been submitted three times. Deanna Belbita has been submitted four times, but between the two of them, only Deanna Belbita has submissions and she has four submission victories. I'll talk about her submissions right here. Four submission victories. All four of them are arm bars. All four of them are in round two. And I believe all four of them are from the guard. Her losses Three of them are arm bars, all in round one. I believe they're all from the guard. And then there was a guillotine by this girl named Rastafarian or something. And she got her out of there in round two. Both girls are susceptible to being submitted. I think that'll be the case moving forward too. But Deanna Belbita has shown better submission skills. And if Molly McCann is taking top position, if that's going to be the game plan, and I do believe it is, she's got to watch out for that arm bar from the guard for Deanna Belbita. Uh, but, uh, that's one, that's a small slice, a little path to victory. Mainly, I think Deanna's top path to victory should be striking, um, uh, you know, keeping the fight standing. And I say that despite having seen Molly's last fight being a two minute arm bar loss to Julia Stoliarenko, but Deanna Belbita may be nifty on the ground compared to Molly McCann, but she's not Julia Stoliarenko. 
uh, far from that. And Molly, look on the feet, she's got the spinning back elbow. That's her little X factor. I think she's got power shots on her side in most matchups and in this one, but she still loses a striking battle. And I also think she's got that spinning back elbow, which could cost her if she's, uh, you know, looking to hit the trifecta because she hit two in very high profile fights in the UFC, especially that Luana Carolina knockout was beautiful. And uh, look, I mean, she lands it. It's a kill shot, but she's probably not going to land it. So, but I don't think that's going to get her in too much trouble. I expect her to follow the blueprint that she laid out in the first fight. Again, Deanna Balbita is susceptible to getting taken down. She still hasn't patched up that takedown defense, and it's going to be the difference maker in this fight. Molly McCann is the pick. I bet on her minus 265, again, because I think even with prop odds in front of me, which they aren't, I couldn't uh, I couldn't commit to decision or anything else because uh, she had so much uh, control in round two of the first fight. So much good control. So we'll see what happens, but I'm riding with Molly McCann riding the fuck. I sound like just, uh. all right, like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.